Thank you so much for joining us on our Wednesday night feed. We're really building up an army of uh, core folks that are, are with us on these Wednesday night feeds. And I feel like it's been such an effective uh, piece of the puzzle for us going through this last year and coming into our future. We get to tag in with each other. We get to spend a little time in worship together. How valuable is that? in the middle of the week. And then we get to really all get on the same page about where we're going. And if that core can be on the same page and understand the vision more clearly, it helps us spread it through the church. And May's been such a cool adventure to me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did getting to highlight some of, we just used the excuse of Mother's Day to highlight some of the female voices in our church that you'll be hearing from in the future. And there'll be others who come along besides. And I just think it's a, it's a neat opportunity for growth. And last week it looked like Claudia brought in a lot of her own uh, followers. I, I noticed the feed grew, it jumped. And she did such a good job. And that's part of the purpose of this. Everybody's got an area of influence. So to those of you that are coming back this week because you jumped in with one of our special speakers, welcome back. Become a part of our Wednesday night core. If this has blessed you, for, don't forget, don't forget to share it out, share it with people, tell them what's happening on Wednesday nights. And with that, I'm so excited. We're, we've got classes in a few minutes. I'll tell you about those at the end, but I'm so excited to bring to you our guest tonight. Um, Felicia is such a core part of how this church functions and ministers and has for decades. She's involved in everything. She just pulled off an amazing spring fling uh, with Stephanie and the, the women's leadership in tow and just an amazing, amazing asset for our church. And Felicia helps us so much with the Nazarite prayer ministry and heads up our deliverance um, ministry. So if you're someone that is wanting to work with ministers in private to push through some issues, Felicia is going to be where we're going to send you and, and just a, a powerful person of prayer and the word and ministry and I want you to give her your full attention, share out the feed so lots of people can hear it. Let's jump in and see what God says to us tonight. Good evening, Promised Land family. My name is Felicia Kianya. Many of you know me. Um, I'm involved in several ministries around the church, including the women's ministry, uh, praise team, and uh, uh, the intercessory prayer ministry. Um, I'm just very honored tonight to come uh, to you, uh, Pastor Schultz asked me to come and share with you guys something that really grabbed a hold of me um, as I prepared for uh, the celebration um, of the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost um, Sunday this past week. And didn't we have an amazing time, uh, two amazing, powerful services uh, for Pentecost Sunday, and we just thank the Lord for that. Um, now, what I want to share with you tonight is something that's just been expanded in my heart um, over the time that I have been talking about it with my with the Lord and just kind of meditating on it. And so in preparation for uh, Shavuot or Pentecost, um, the Lord really began to deal with me last Thursday um, at Praise Line rehearsal when the Praise Line received a very heavy word um, um, that really called us to walk worthy of the calling that God has placed upon our lives and um, to uh, to be fit for the master's use, as it were, uh, in our personal consecrations. And so from that moment, I began to really look at my life and examine myself uh, much more closely than I really have been recently. Um, and if I'm honest, I have to tell you that uh, there were some things that um, I had to confess and some scales that needed to fall off my eyes. And so I, um, I'm grateful to the Lord for that process. And uh, now fast forward to Saturday, 
um, the day before Pentecost Sunday. And um, I was just going about my, my normal day. And then all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit just impressed on me to, to shut out everything, to turn everything off and that the Lord was going to speak to me. And so I did that. I turned off the television. I stopped listening to music. I put away everything that I had been reading and I just started to pray. And as I started to pray, um, the Holy Spirit began to impress upon me um, that, you know, that the feast of, of heart, the feast of weeks was a celebration of the wheat harvest. Um, one aspect of it was a celebration of the wheat harvest, a uh, giving of the Torah to the people uh, at, at Sinai was also a part of it. But what the Lord focused on with me was the wheat harvest. And he said that today you don't have a physical harvest of wheat that you can be thankful for. You're not a farmer. You don't you don't have a crop to harvest that you are thankful for, but you have other harvests in your life. And, and, um, he said that even though we don't have a physical harvest of wheat to be thankful for today, that we have a harvest to be thankful for. And he moved on me to begin to speak to my harvest. And I heard, uh, multiple times, you have what you say. And so I just began to pray. I just went into prayer and I just began to thank the Lord for my harvest. I thank the Lord for my harvest, the harvest among my children. I thank the Lord for the harvest among my loved ones, my family members, for unsaved family members, for my neighbors, for former co-workers, for my business partners, anybody that doesn't know the Lord. I began to just thank the Lord for them being saved. And I then began to thank the Lord for financial harvest and for spiritual harvest in my life to grow in, in grace and in the nurture and, you know, uh, of the Lord and the Holy Spirit within me expanding who I am and, and just all, every, anything that I could think of to begin to thank the Lord for as a part of my harvest, I did that. And, and so, um, I just worshiped the Lord and it was such an experience for me that I hadn't felt that way in a long time. I, I went to sleep speaking in tongues and I, I could hear um, the, the Holy Ghost fire, that song that we sang on Sunday. I had been practicing it and I just could hear it repeating over and over. And it was my cry to the Lord for the Holy Spirit to fall on me and for fire to burn away everything that was not like God. And, and so I went to sleep and I woke up and I could still feel the presence of the Lord so strongly on me as I got ready for um, service on Sunday. And so when the day of Pentecost had fully come and we were all together and in one accord uh, and pastor was preaching from Ezekiel 37, um, when he got to verse four, um, he was talking about how the Lord responded to Ezekiel when the Lord had asked Ezekiel if those bones could live. And Ezekiel said, you know, Lord. And the Lord said, you know. And when Pastor Shul said, he was paraphrasing, and he, and he said that the Lord answered Ezekiel, no, you know, you prophesy to these bones. And it hit me in that moment, I lost it. It hit me in that moment that the Lord was confirming his word to me from Saturday. And it was like, you have what you say. You have what you say. It's time for you, me, and you to prophesy to those dead things in our lives. It's time for us to, to take back to call those things that be not as though they were according to Romans 4 and 17. And as I thought about, you know, afterwards I was completely drained and, 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 and I just was basking in the Lord's presence and just still remembering things. Things were still being called to my remembrance to just thank God for as a, as a, uh, as a sign to the Lord that I was, I was believing in faith that he was going to bring those harvests back to my life. And, um, as I thought about what I was going to share after I was asked to share tonight, I asked the Holy Spirit again to really show me what to focus on as I speak to you tonight. And, and, um, just like he always does, 
um, he had to drop a trail for me because I'm an intelligent person, but I'm not always <laughs> quick on the uptake. So God tends to leave me little trails. And um, the, I, I heard the Holy Ghost speak to me um, last night. Um, and he said, Feast of Weeks, wheat harvest, wheat separated from the tares. And I remembered that story. I remembered that scripture. So I looked it up and it's in Matthew 13 verses 24 through 30 when the when Jesus is speaking to the people and he tells them three quick parables in succession. And one of those parables it was the parables of the was the parable of the wheat and the tares. And God's, uh, God just, he just blew my mind because Jesus was talking to the people and he told them this story about a, a, a husband man or a planter who, who planted the wheat crop. And, um, in the nighttime, the enemy, um, had gone in and sown tares in with the wheat. And when his workers saw that the tares were growing up among the wheat, he said that, uh, they, they asked him, should we just go ahead and pull them up? And he said, no. He said, leave them. And at harvest time, when you harvest the wheat, harvest the tares at the same time and then burn them and throw them into the fires. But the, but the wheat will be saved because if you did it early, you might pull up some of the wheat. And, and it would be destroyed along with the tears. And so in reading that story, it just brought such clarity, clarity to me about what God was speaking to uh, to me. And it said that um, um, he, he told me, I, I, I was impressed that we have a harvest among the people that we know and love. And one plants and one waters, but it's God that gives the increase. Um, and so what I felt like the Lord was speaking to us is number one, it's time for us to speak to our harvest. And the, the, the most important harvest that we have is the people that God has placed in our circle, our family members that don't know him. It's time for us to speak to that in the spirit, but also to speak to them like Claudia was speaking to us about last week, about talking to them, about witnessing to them. Um, some of us will plant, some of us will water, but if we trust God and we do what we know God is calling us to do, and that's pray for them and speak to them, then it will be God that gives the increase. So I just want to encourage you tonight to pray with an attitude of thanksgiving. You don't have to beg God for the harvest because the harvest is already here. Like, like Claudia taught us last week, what you have to do is now thank God for that harvest. Thank him for that harvest. Water where you can, plant where you can, but know that God is going to give you the increase. I just want to pray for you before I leave you tonight. And I want to just encourage you to just to be, be courageous. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for your mighty word. We thank you for an amazing celebration, time of celebration on Pentecost Sunday. And we pray, Father, that the seed that you planted within us, oh God, fell on good ground and that it would reap for us a harvest in this time. We thank you, Lord, for our loved ones being saved. We thank you for the harvest among the people that we know. We thank you for giving us the courage to speak those things, to, to speak to those things that be not as though they were, God to call them in, Lord Jesus. We thank you for saving our family members, our co-workers, our friends, our neighbors, and God for using us to be the instrument uh, that would speak to them, that would show them you in this day and age. And, and God, we just praise you and we give you all the glory and all the honor is unto you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. what I tell you? Thank you, Felicia, for bringing the word, for delivering your soul to us tonight. That's why these Wednesday nights are so important. I am really hoping you'll stick around for just a few more minutes, jump in the men's class or the women's class, whatever's appropriate to you. Um, don't forget so much of our relationships and 
personal discipleship come out of being a part of those smaller ministries. And I get so, so much out of these breakout classes that happen on Wednesday nights. So that information is being posted. Please don't forget to join us there. Father, let the word we receive tonight go in and do its work. Help us to command you. That's what your word says. So we want to command you according to your promises and your word. And we are so thankful for the reminders you're giving us of the authority we have in Christ. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you and give you peace. We'll see you on Sunday.